I think one of the key things that's really resonating in the expo is all around the area of frictionless customer experience. Um, we're finding in payments, in fraud, one of the issues is that companies are trying to reduce the friction that customers have. Um, so in decisioning, you want to have an automated instant decisioning. People don't want to be waiting for hours or even minutes um, to get decisioning in, uh, around their fraud and when they're making payments. Um, so we're seeing that a lot, that's around the whole area of how can we make the customer experience better, how can we make it smoother, how can we really work to make sure that that whole customer life cycle and that customer experience is something that brings your customers coming back to you. Sure, so at FinTech Connect, Forta is showcasing our integrated fraud prevention platform, which uh, enables sales growth for online retailers through less declines and also reducing the cost of fraud. So we holistically monitor for anomalies throughout the customer journey, enabling us to essentially provide a real-time yes-no decision to stop abuse before it happens. So the solution itself is powered by machine learning with expert human research, cyber intelligence and behavior analytics. And the technology is underpinned by full automation and real-time decisioning on every single transaction, which allows us to provide a seamless customer experience, but also makes it scalable during peak points of the season. Of course, so uh, Ford has recently published the uh, seventh edition of the, the Fraud Attack Index which is uh, the most comprehensive report in the marketplace covering fraud trends and fraud patterns. Two key takeaways from that were firstly, year on year, the dollar amount of fraud has increased by 12%. Now this is a reflection of really an increase in the quality of fraud attacks rather than the, uh, the volume. Now merchants are having to really kind of shift their offerings to accommodate shifting expectations from customers around their experience. And this has allowed fraudsters to target this area more and more. And loyalty points are very easy to monetize, but they also have a, a detrimental impact, not just financially, but also on customer relationships. And Fort has also achieved a, a milestone this year in June, when we processed $100 billion worth of transactions. And this has actually doubled the amount from January of 2019. And as of today, that figure has actually gone up to $140 billion pounds worth of transactions on an annual basis. I think one of the key areas that you're going to be looking at is more around the PSD2 elements where we're going to see strong customer authentication starting to be implemented across EMEA in different countries. Um, but then also you're going to be looking at new areas of fraud. Um, from our fraud attack index we found that year on year there's been an 89% growth in loyalty fraud. So that's an area that you're going to see a lot more and then you're also seeing growth in areas like um, finance and cryptocurrency fraud in those areas is growing so those are sort of growth areas in fraud and i think the things that people are looking for is how can they have an automated real-time solution to help them to combat fraud you see that in the industry there's a lot of manual based and rules based systems but companies are now starting to look for more automated real-time decisioning and that's going to be a real growth area in 2020 as companies move towards real-time decisions and away from some of the more legacy systems that they've used in the past.